They say every great dream begins with a dreamer. Chapter one. This story starts with an idea and a boy or a girl in a bedroom with nothing but a pen and a laptop. Chapter two. That pen has scribbled furiously across that page countless times and that laptop has spent hours illuminated in front of tired eyes, cans of energy drink, and that idea has turned into a passion. Chapter three. That passion has found its way into the inbox of like-minded individuals signed off with words like, honestly, do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it will bang? Chapter four. The idea turned passion, turned confirmation from trusted friends that it will indeed bang has turned into a project. Skip to chapter six. That project has become viable. That project has become a business. That project has become a reality. That project has the potential to change the world. Because as logical people, we become stuck in our ways, reluctant to change, function the same, when there's nothing to gain. We say, if it's not broke, why fix it? There's no need to reinvent the wheel. Forgetting that all skyscrapers were once just slabs of stone. Google, all these apps were once just scraps of code. But skip back to chapter one. And that boy could have been Jobs. The idea could have been Apple. That girl could have been Nina Simone. The idea could have been freedom. All it ever takes is one idea and a whole lot of effort. Whether it happens in a campus dorm room or a meeting boardroom, it only ever takes one idea to change the world. To the class of 2020, Congratulations. This year has been uniquely challenging. Despite all the trials of 2020 and our attempts to cancel it all together, you have still managed to make it here. Your graduation. Some of you will have pulled all-nighters, crammed for tests, scrabbled to get an essay together on deadline day. Others may have never had to face that stress. However, you made it. You did it. When we graduated SOAS, we sat in crowded, hot rooms, decked out in our gowns, eager to hear our names called so we could have our opportunity to shake our hands with Gracia Michelle or Vary Amos. But this year, things are different. Who knows when we'll be able to sit together to acknowledge all of our achievements. Although life has changed so much, we hope you feel just as proud. You've made it through your degree, overcoming the countless hurdles that have been thrown at you. That is something huge to celebrate. Having reached this point, I remember something that Consuelo, one of the SOAS cleaners, told us on a picket line this year. You, she said, us, now have been put a small seed inside, a seed to fight for justice and dignity for ourselves and for others. Please do not let that seed die and keep watering it in the years to come. That is definitely the strongest lesson I take away from SOAS, and I hope it is also a big one for you. Never forget the power we hold as students, as communities, especially when those seeds blossom collectively. The task of summarising a SOAS experience, dispensing some kind of inspiration, or worse, advice and reassurance that the world is not that bad, is not an easy one. With our brains being constantly overloaded with the news that the world is basically ending, it has never been clearer that the world is very different from our microcosm at SOAS. But surely that's the whole point. That is why as a community we value SOAS. That is why we are constantly fighting, striving for a better SOAS. Whether that be through decolonizing our minds in the curriculum or through the Justice for Workers campaign, whether standing in solidarity with the BDS campaign or the struggle in Brazil, the SOAS community is varied and diverse in its pursuit for a better world. I came to SOAS, a bright-eyed, bushy-browed 18-year-old, straight from the shticks in Ireland, not knowing what I had gotten myself into, I began to embark on a journey that would reframe how I see the world. From my course, meeting people across the globe, and submerging myself in student union activities, like many of you, I find myself leaving SOAS with a completely new identity. 
Pather 2.0 has a better understanding of different experiences and they have questioned the very things that they grew up to know. SOAS has given me the gift of an identity and the direction that I have always wanted in life. For that, I am eternally grateful. To quote the late professor of social anthropology, Dr. Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? I've been so excited all year to write this speech and it is somewhat disappointing that we're not able to be there with you, to cheer you along and to watch you cross that stage. But we're so proud of you. It has been an honour to serve you as your sabbatical officer this year. And I send the best luck, fortune and prayers, whichever one works for you, so that the future is as bright as you can dream it to be. So whether you learned about social constructs and colonial imaginaries in the Lucas Lecture Theatre, Global Hip Hop in G52, The Resource Curse in Wolfson Lecture Theatre, or Transformative Justice in the Brunei Gallery, in this video, we celebrate you. Whether you're heading straight into employment, into further education, or you're taking some time out, we have no doubt that you will continue to achieve great things. Congratulations, class of 2020. You've made it. After strikes and COVID, you're ready for anything. Congratulations. And big congratulations to all you history students. It's been such an immense pleasure to get to know you all, teach many of you, and learn from you all over the last three or four years. Take care and stay in touch. Hi, Sarah Parsons here from the School of Finance and Management. I'd like to say a huge congratulations to all SOAS alumni this year. You've, you've done so well to graduate under these circumstances, so well done. And for all my students in particular, I've really loved working with you. I'm going to miss you, please keep in touch, and good luck as a SOAS alumni. To the Centre for Gender Studies graduating class, congratulations! Hungara Sano, well done! I hope that even though we are not able to be physically together to celebrate this particular moment, that you find some time with your family, friends, and those who have supported your journey to toast to this very important milestone. I want to remind you that even though this particular moment of your life and journey with the Center for Gender Studies has ended, you will always remain a part of the CGS family and we look forward to hearing your news and celebrating you wherever life may take you. Once again, congratulations and Hungara Sana. Hello. So as undergraduates and postgraduates, you may how. Congratulations. Today is a special day. As a Chinese teacher teaching Chinese for 26 years at SOS, I have attended many graduation ceremonies, both as a teacher and as a PhD graduate. This year's ceremony is, of course, very special because the ceremony is online. I am pleased to say to this year's graduates, whom I have taught from different departments, especially from the Department of East Asian Languages and Cultures. Four years ago, when you joined the SOAS, it was also a special year because 2016 was the SOAS 100th anniversary. I remember your first Chinese lesson with me, and I told you then that four years later, you would have no problem listening to and speaking Chinese. And it has all happened as I promised. You learn the Chinese from beginner level. And four years later, you can speak fluent Chinese, understand Chinese culture, and communicate with native speakers by using the target language well. This has been clearly shown in your performance in one of my 12 teaching modules, Chinese 401, the Advanced Modern Chinese Language Listening and Speaking. I am very proud of you for your great achievements. Every year, your examination time is my harvest time. And this year's graduation time is my biggest of all because it arrives after you have coped with unusual types of difficulties successfully. Congratulations! Although you have graduated from SOAS today, remember that SOAS will always welcome you back. At this moment, at the beginning of your new journey, 
I would like to share with you the following Chinese saying to complete my speech. 书山有路，勤为径；学海无涯，苦作舟。Diligence is the path to the mountain of knowledge. Hard work is the boat to the endless sea of learning. 千里之行，始于足下。A thousand miles begins with a single step. 不及跬步。无以至千里 ，no step, no mile. 祝你们今后取得更大的成功。May you all succeed in your future. Thank you and goodbye. 谢谢，再见。Dear student, it's my honor today to congratulate you and your family while looking back at the legacy we have created. Here in the past years, SOAS was your pod, where you encountered the world firsthand, supported by your teachers and peers. Today, you're out and ready to make change. So, what are you going to do? You might be tempted to answer, "I'll hold my smartphone and ask Google or Siri, 'What do I do?'" And the answer will be most likely, "There is nothing on your calendar yet." So. Don't ask your smartphone. Ask yourself, "What do I do now?" And my hint is, add new items to your calendar. And while doing so, I urge you to live in the moment and make big choices, face challenges, and make change. Listen to the rebel within you that will lead you in your journey of finding your identity to become who you are. And when you finally find your identity, Be the element of change in your family, community, and the whole world. Be the catalyst. Go on to make, create the world you want to live in. Make change step by step. Achieve simple accomplishments that build up to the life that is yours. But while doing so, please remember three letters. Never forget them. I, O, you. Turn to your family and partner, who supported you in this journey, and say, "I owe you." To your teachers, who guided you and helped you understand yourself, "I owe you." Turn to Soas and say, "I owe you." And finally, turn to yourself. Turn to the rebel inside you. Who helped you be who you are? Who is constantly pushing you to be a better version of yourself? And say, I owe you. I wish you a pleasant and memorable day. Go on, inspire the world in the same way you inspired us here in Soas. And thank you. Reflecting on the roller coaster that is university, one thing remains true for all of us: we couldn't have done it alone. To those who made it possible for us to get here, our academics, tutors, cleaners, and security, student-facing support staff, and those behind the scenes that even made this video possible. Thank you for allowing us to get to the end of this journey. We appreciate it enormously. To our networks, our families, and the families we have chosen, we celebrate you too. It is time to take this knowledge and apply it to the world outside the classroom. It is time to adapt. Push ourselves beyond limitations and reach for higher heights. If studying at SOAS teaches us one thing, it is that to not leave these learnings behind, but rather carry it with you wherever you go next. As we will move on to our next phase, whatever that might be, let us remember the wisdom of Adrienne Marie Brown. Our collective anger at mobilizing is powerful. The bravery to imagine a better world is radical. So is our joy. Choose the life that brings you peace and fulfillment. That is radical too. Good luck. Empower and solidarity. From your sabbatical officers of 2019 and 20. Valeria. Pater. Yes, sir. Maxine. Dear graduates, congratulations on your graduation. Certainly, you had envisioned 
your graduation to take place with much fanfare alongside your classmates, teachers, family and friends in our beautiful SOAS Auditorium. I too was very much looking forward to being in London and sharing in the joy and the excitement of this day with you and your loved ones. However, circumstance has dictated otherwise. And instead, I am extending my heartfelt congratulations to you as you sit in your own living rooms and from my home country of Mozambique. This unprecedented online graduation reflects our new normal and is quite an appropriate metaphor for the uncharted and exciting territory that awaits you on the other side of this virtual graduation ceremony. Huge, huge congratulations to all the students graduating from SOAS this year. SOAS graduations have always been very special. And I'm sorry that this year we don't have the opportunity to be together. But it's important that you take time out to celebrate your achievement, that you thank your family and your friends and the staff who have worked with you to make this graduation possible. You've worked hard, you deserve your success. SOAS is a global university. We're outward looking and what we aim to do through a SOAS education is to make you future ready. Our world is at an uncertain time and needs graduates from SOAS more than ever. I encourage you to see the silver linings. It is your hands that will be the ones which rebuild our societies for the better. And as you swim these uncharted waters, rest assured that you are well equipped to handle the complexities that will inevitably come your way. You are the first to step out into a world that COVID has fundamentally altered. And I challenge you to seize the opportunity of reinvention that presents themselves to you. You have been gifted the ability to re-engineer human relationships and create value-based societies to dismantle structures of inequity and rebuild inclusive and people-centered economies, to invent technologies which are not destructive to our health, to our relationships, and to our planet, and to challenge toxic norms of patriarchy and socioeconomic systems then that benefit only the few while disenfranchising the many. You're all committed to making change in the world in whatever way you can. I wish you all the best for the future. I hope that some of you will come back for a graduation next year. But remember, you're not leaving SOAS and neither is SOAS leaving you. We're always going to be connected. There are SOAS graduates all over the world. Take some time, reflect, think about where we are in the world right now and how you can use the skills and knowledge that you've developed at SOAS to help to bring about change. I look forward to seeing you building upon the legacy of SOAS alumni who are change makers in every corner of our globe. If I were to describe SOAS, it would definitely be that it's a place that is very diverse, full of color, full of life, full of energy, and there's never a boring day at SOAS. Also, SOAS is very diverse. So you get to learn from the different backgrounds and cultures. My university, my university experience in SOAS was very nice. I really enjoyed it. Uh, the most important thing that SOAS taught me or taught us as students is that we can freely express our thoughts and opinions. And we should always have questions in order to know who we truly are. 
I think the greatest thing that I've learned during my time at SOAS has been the importance and power of using your own voice, whatever it's a small thing or on a most urgent matter. Expressing your opinion and expressing your feelings, it really can make the difference and it really shapes not just who we are, but also the words, the words that surround us. Definitely the drag shows. Every moment I spent in the JCR with friends is definitely a great memory, but watching the drag shows was the absolute best. The acceptance, the body positivity and glamour of it all make these nights my absolute favorite at SOAS. Probably hanging out with my friends and uh, doing the society work or uh, enjoying the lectures and also um, visiting my professors during their office hours and having a talk with them, it's real fun. Of course, the time spent with my fabulous teacher. Was it too much in a Miami Granger thing? And the fire alarm uh, went on and we were in the library. Everyone was so serious, but we couldn't handle it. We were all laughing. I mean, it always happens in Salat and it's always my favorite. The fire alarm sounded the very same day my mother visited the university during my lecture. So basically, she came in just shouting Danger! Danger! Fire! Bring all of us safe and sound, teacher included. I think one of the weirdest moments I've had at SOAS would definitely be this online graduation, but I'm so grateful that we are able to do this. Weirdest moment was probably when I had to rap in Chinese in front of an audience for the Chinese New Year celebration. I was definitely not ready for a rap solo, but I'm pretty sure I nailed it anyway. Now, what is a typical SOA student? I'd say such a creature doesn't exist. But every person at SOAS is unique and brings their own beautiful cultural backgrounds uh, and experiences to the university. But if I had to really answer this question, I'd say... A person downing pints and talking endlessly about politics in the JCR is the closest I get to describing a typical SOAS student. As someone who would go to the library every day, but would uh, go to the JCR afterwards to party, and someone who is part of so many societies. Well, now I feel confident of my own ideas, and I'm ready to share them with other people. And of course, I'm also ready to listen to others' opinion and taking the best of them. I think that I became a lot more open-minded and accepting of others and of myself. Being in the middle of such a diverse environment, as well as going on a year abroad in Japan, really opened my mind to different cultures and experiences. I've grown a lot, and while I have learned a lot academically, I'd like to think that I've grown it as a person, and everyone at SOAS allowed me to do that. I can say that I have uh, become confident, I have grown up. I moved here three years ago at the age of 18, uh, I'm from Azerbaijan originally, uh, so I'm an international student here and it was quite challenging to live in London at first and to study um, you know, in such an environment, but it was also very rewarding, um, so it really developed uh, my confidence in myself and both life skills and practical skills, I would say. Uh, and also at the end of the three years, I think I'm starting to get the bridge jokes, which I never could. Uh, but yeah, we, we still have um, a long way down the road. Now a message for my fellow graduates. I miss you all so much and we didn't have time to say goodbye properly. And no matter where Miss Corona took us throughout the world, I truly hope that we'll get that fancy ceremony and great party that we deserve as soon as possible. Very well done for achieving your degree under such special circumstances. So now just go and celebrate because you deserve it. Finally, I would like to thank my parents, my grandparents and friends for their unconditional support and love.
Thank you. Here's a message from my fellow graduates. I just want to say that uh, we all survived, but on a serious note, I really want to congratulate everyone graduating today. And I want to say that um, I want to wish everyone good luck and success in their lives and in their careers. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Welcome to the SOAS alumni community, class of 2020. I'm Susanna. I graduated from SOAS in 2018, and I now work for the SOAS Career Service. Congrats on everything that you've achieved during your time studying here. You're probably now thinking about next steps. What do you want to do now that you're done with your degree? Where do you want to work? Do you want to keep studying? And what can you do to make your future career as fulfilling as possible? Well, the SOAS careers and the SOAS alumni teams are here to support you for life. And we want to help you flourish after SOAS. We want to stay in touch with you to share all of our support for graduates and alumni and the graduate outcome survey. So be sure to share your contact details with us in the form in the description below. The Career Service is here to offer you a wealth of support. As alumni, you have free access to a huge range of our career services. We offer support with career decision making, applications, interviews and loads more. Be sure to check out our websites to find out exactly how we can help you in your career through our events, appointments and resources, all accessible online. We've also got SOAS Connect, our fantastic e-mentoring platform for you to get in touch with hundreds of alumni to be mentored by and to mentor when the time comes. The SOAS alumni team will connect you with your peers and other alumni to keep you updated with what's going on at SOAS now that you're part of the alumni community and to bring you on board to events and networks within and beyond the university. We have alumni groups all over the world, so no matter where you move to in the future, you always have a community to be a part of. Make sure you sign up to our alumni and careers mailing lists to join your alumni network and to unlock all alumni benefits. The link to sign up is in the description below. SOAS Careers and SOAS alumni are still here for you to offer you support when you need it. Please share your contact info with us in the form below and we really can't wait to hear from you again to find out about all the amazing stuff that you're obviously gonna go on to do. Congratulations.
Congratulations. Kamwani le lomba ye bisingai na baninga na ngayo komande ko ye ngainga ala le lo yo ngala kominde ko kara mwa moto to zala ka ko tambola pe ko se ke lombo na zala ka moto ya ko lo balo bate so kina nzembi se pona yongo
Dreams come back in gold. I hate to miss her, and it never shows. California waves of sunshine glows. I hate to leave them, but it down I know. I've got to go. Understand what I've been saying all along. 